everybody thinks it was designed so that we could have a pro basketball team or pro hockey team here. Uh, ideally, that would be the case, but that hasn't happened. And so since October 2008, uh, they've put almost three and a half million people through this building because of concerts. Every major musical artist in the world, if you have any presence at all in the record industry, has probably come here to perform. Uh, and probably multiple times. So it's a great concert venue. And then on the right here, uh, like I said, it's the Power and Light District. And if you look to your right, you'll see that the center of this area is really tall. So the bars and restaurants are all around it in the shape of a giant O. And the doors on the inside of the O open up to expose an open air venue to what's called KC Live. And you can see right now that there's a band on the stage getting set up, probably for a performance they're going to do tonight. It's Friday night. Friday and Saturday nights, there's generally live entertainment down here. This is, this is a 21-year-old and over venue only. There's a bus from, from UMKC comes over here. Yes. Like, not even 10 minutes. Nice. Are you, is everybody over 21 here? Yeah. Yeah. And they do check IDs very vigorously. Yeah. Isaac, Isaac says no. I am. I, I yeah. think you can see the show. Ah, no, my name. Michael Bobo. Michael Bobo. Yeah. Not during. Turn over. You can't. You can't. Other. I don't mind it. Dragons. If you look out to the left front. That long green building is the Kansas City Star. It's actually a newspaper that still is produced, even though uh, they also have a very uh, big internet presence as well. But in that glass building are the actual presses that run the newspaper, and you can literally stand outside and watch those being printed every day. It's something they know what's in the city. Now, Came and saw the air. We I brought saw that. You came with I us? I was in the front row. 